Hello everyone, I am Neelam Singh from Quadrant Knowledge Solutions and today I would be taking you through the top trends of supply chain in 2023. It's no news that over the past two and a half years, COVID-19 pandemic and other geopolitical issues have severely affected the global supply chains and has led to a number of serious disruptions. But be it sudden demand changes on one side, massive plant shutdowns leading to supply side changes. Most of the predictions made during the last few years fell flat because of the unprecedented changes affecting the world almost on a daily basis. This change was also because we are talking about a global supply chain and thus the reaction to any situation is longer. Even a small change at one end of the supply chain affects the other side big time. Though the pandemic has passed, supply chain leaders are still not at peace. They are planning and preparing for the next set of unexpected changes. So now the new normal is adapting to uncertainties. We at Quadrant Knowledge Solutions have identified some trends and have looked at it from three angles. The first one is, what are the trends for supply chain leaders in 2023? Second is, what is the software vendors aiming at providing to those leaders? And the third is, how is everyone else affected by the supply chain changes that is happening across the world. First, let's look at what are the trends driving the supply chain owners or leaders and how are they trying to understand and gain back the control of their supply chain business. The first one, and it's no brainer, first one, and everyone is talking about it because it is so important, is making your supply chain agile and resilient. Agility can be of two types, vertical, which happens across the network that you are in, and agility can be within the organization, which is horizontal. The supply chain should have enough buffer to recover from any disruption without being subjected to it for a long enough time for anyone to feel the impact. Important that the supply chain is resistant to disruption and also has the ability to adapt and recover faster from it. The second one, that the leaders are focusing on and is a trend is identifying the weakest link in the supply chain. Recently, we have all witnessed the chip shortage in the world. That was primarily because the organizations have not identified the weakest link in their supply chains and had no backup plans to cover for the foundries that were in Asia. To understand the impact, let's think about this. Not only the auto and the semiconductor industries, even banks could not issue debit and credit cards because of this chip shortage. Organizations are gravitating towards identifying their reliance on single supplier or country and trying to set up the next nearest supplier base. Companies are trying to identify alternative materials and going beyond the traditional partnerships. Since China is no more a reliable source, organizations are following a China plus one strategy for their product and other supply chain needs. The third trend in this that we have identified is being aligned. Supply chain systems, processes, and any communication, be it human or data, should be aligned throughout the network. Everyone who is a part of the network needs to be cognizant of the impact of each other's decision on the network. For example, how will my chain be impacted if someone else in the chain makes a certain decision that is not in my favor? Although all of these three that I have discussed are important, the most important one and the one that can be an answer to all of the others that I've discussed about is that the supply chain should be futuristic. And one way of doing it is by making the supply chain digital. For that, let's look at what are the trends that are driving in the technology providers segment. It also brings us to the second section where we are talking about the technologies that are trending from a software provider's perspective. So number one in this process is making your supply chain digital. Supply chains are expected to be normal and this would solve most of the issues of the supply chain leaders, like making them resilient, agile, and futuristic, and helping them identifying even the weakest link in the chain. 
Though we can agree that digitizing supply chain is not a small task at hand and may require large scale sensor implementation of for IoT tracking, digital twins, shared APIs, adoption of cloud technologies, process automation and adopting security measures to tackle all the IT developments. But in today's context, the only way an organization can be either left behind or be competitive is this. This is the most, this in most cases is the differentiating factor. Though all the technologies are important, I would talk about some of these in, in no particular order and also discuss the use cases. Let's talk about IoT first. We all understand that, the, that visibility is the key to understanding issues and thereafter fixing those issues in any supply chain. By deploying IoT devices across the different parts of your supply chain, from manufacturing plant floors to transportation, distribution center, inventory system, it offers visibility and data collection. becomes easy. Organizations are using this technology to deliver real-time insights where they are needed the most. Thereafter, they use the data gathered to develop smart supply chain, IoT, and maximize the efficiency and effectiveness in the supply chain. That also gets me to my next trend that is in use of, that is the use of big data and analytics post the ability to gather the data through IoT devices. This finds use in many different scenarios in the supply chain context. Let's talk about manufacturing. Big data analytics can already has already started to show some improvements in manufacturing by providing data on manufacturing parameters, assembly operations, or root cause analysis for defect finding, creating energy efficient production possible. In warehousing also, companies have heavily invented in technology that provide comparative advantage. Travel distance by labor can be optimized. Pallets can be efficiently reshuffled because performance can be efficiently enhanced. Also, fleet companies already make use of analytics to improve operations. For example, they use fuel consumption analysis to improve the efficiency and they use GPS technology to reduce the wait times by allocating warehouse base in real time. Gathering data, you have analyzed it now. Now let's think about how artificial intelligence and machine learning comes into play. Let's talk about some use cases. Enhanced safety in warehouse. AI can analyze the workplace safety data and inform manufacturers about any possible or impending risks. It can run feedback loops and help in conducting proactive maintenance and help in maintaining secure and compliant workplace environment with safety standards. Another use case uh, for AI is in improving customer experience. One, Widely used instance can be modern transport and the logistics using voice activated means of tracking shipments and orders. The next on my list is robotics and automation. Low labor shortages, supply disruptions and demand surges are compelling organizations to tap into robotics. And as a result, intelligent robotics are transforming supply chains. Both mobile and stationary robots are used in warehousing transportation and last mile delivery tasks for increasing efficiency. AMRs, that is autonomous mobile robots, are in warehouse and are a classic example of this technology being used to the fullest. Let's switch the gears a little bit and come to the third part of my trend section where we talk about the most important supply chain trends for everyone else, humans, you and me. We are all as human beings are a part of some supply chain and any disruption affects us. One classic example was a toilet paper shortage during the COVID-19 phase. It, was, it not only proved that every human gets impacted by disruption in the supply chain, but also exposed the supply chain bottlenecks, not only through shortages, but it impacts everyone via economics, social or environmental aspects. Let's talk about environment first. The traditional linear business model to get, create, use and throw away is a deterrent to the environment. The wastage 
raises raw material cost, increases the likelihood of shortages and volatility. In addition, there are many conflicts and wars that are facilitated due to rare minerals, energies and commodities. As supply chains touch every part of the global ecosystem, circular economies that prioritize responsible and regenerative aspects are trending. In addition, reduction in carbon footprint is also a very critical trend that supply chain is gravitating towards. The second is the social aspect of the supply chain. Sense of ethics and humanity need to run deep in businesses. Consumers like us have become aware and are searching for more sustainable products and supply chains that they get. Sustainable business practices are integral at every supply chain step, from raw material to production to delivery. Thus, a big part of running an efficient supply chain is the human aspect where supply chain leaders should look out for practices of fraud, corruption, slavery, human trafficking, and border issues like child labor affecting any part of their supply chain. This awareness is coming to be a big trend this year. Let's look at the third and the last one, that is the economic aspects of economic trends in supply chain. Interest rate, taxes, fines, inflation, all these compose of the impact, economic impact of the supply chain. In US, for example, the rapid rise in infl inflation rate is a major concern for businesses, consumers, and investors in total. According to US Bank, for the 12 month that ended in June 2022, living costs in the US as measured by consumer price index rose by more than 9%. It is not just a domestic problem. Recent inflation spikes are a global phenomenon and we have witnessed that in jobs being lost and countries that are dependent on US for business getting impacted at large. The Federal Reserve though has less control on the supply side. It is attempting to address this issue by taking aggressive steps to cool the demand. This is one of the biggest trends in 2023. So to summarize, supply chain trends are looked at from three aspects. What is trending for the leaders or the owners of the supply chain? What is trending for the tech providers and for the common man? We just hope that with this awareness, acknowledgement of the new normal and readiness, supply chains may get closer to sustaining the disruption without blinking an eyelid. That is it from me on the top trends in supply chain for 2023. Thank you so much for your patience.